Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Our of gratitude. Thank you, Jesus. Our heartfelt words of gratitude. And this is the season of graciousness and gratitude. This is the season that the world is gearing up to say thank you. Yes, Lord. For all the things that have happened that are good and positive in their life. It is also a time to reflect back on those things that you don't want to do the same way in your life. So that you can make them better as you go into 2016. And so the church also and the believers of God also need to be thinking about moving forward in gratitude and in fellowship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In which every day that we have to breathe on this earth should be a day of gratitude and fellowship. Can we all say amen? Amen. amen. So I'm going to look at a passage of scriptures that the Lord took me to. And when the Lord first took me to this scripture, I'll be honest with you, I did not understand why. I didn't understand why, and I stopped at a certain verse, and I said, okay, this must be what he wants me to speak from. And then I, I, I began to process the sermon, and I said, Lord, this is not making sense to me. And he said, because you didn't go further. See, sometimes we stop too soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. We stop too yeah. soon. Yeah. We think that we didn't got all of it, yeah. and we stop, yeah. and we get frustrated with God. No, I don't know what you. Yeah. And God said, because you didn't go farther yeah. enough. Yeah. Right. Right. Because sometimes going farther may require us to see what we don't want to see. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. yeah. May require us to test what we don't want to test. Yeah. Try yeah. out. Yeah. What we don't right. want to try out. Yeah. Eliminate yeah. some things we don't want to eliminate. Yeah. So yeah. we yeah. stay in our safety zone. Yeah. Amen. 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 I just want to stop here. The spirit of prophecy is on me. I'm just going to stop here for right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to go to the text, which is at 1 John 1, 1 through 7. And I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation. And it says, and this is the Apostle John. We proclaim to you one who existed from the beginning, whom we have heard and we've seen. We saw him with our own eyes and touched him with our own hands. He is the word of life. This one, his life itself, was revealed to us, and we have seen him. And now we testify and proclaim to you that he is the one who is eternal life. He was with the Father, and then he re was revealed to us. We proclaim to you what we ourselves have actually seen, and we've heard, so that you may have, look at this, fellowship with us and fellowship with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. That's kind of why we're here right now. We are writing these things so that you may fully share the joy. I think he was talking about the joy of fellowship. This is the message we heard from Jesus and now declare to you, God is light and there is no darkness in him. So we are lying if we say, that's what the text says. Mm -hmm. We are lying if we say we have fellowship with God, but go on living in spiritual darkness. Yes. We are not practicing the truth. But if we are living in the light, as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with each other. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all our sins. Amen. Amen. The topic, you may be seated in the presence of the Holy God. The topic of my sermon is, do you really mean thank you? Mm. Do you really mean it? First John was written by John, one of Jesus' disciples. And when John wrote this letter, Christianity was young, and it is in being introduced to that part of the world. In fact, Christianity had only been around for about a generation. And during this time, Christianity was facing, as you may imagine when you were new on the scene, it was facing a lot of scrutiny and severe persecution. 
And because of this ever increasing hardship and persecution, the commitment, hear me now, of those who called themselves Christians, the commitment of those who profess to be believers of God was cooling off. I can imagine that the pressure to look and talk and be like the world was becoming too much for them, was beginning to crush them on the inside to be and act different than the world. I can imagine that everyone was laughing, if you can remember, go back and think about it in the contemporary terms. Everybody was laughing at the dirty jokes and you're the only one that's not. It was becoming difficult. Right, right. Mm -hmm. When everyone is living against God and you're living for God, mm -hmm. it gets tough. Yes, amen. When foul language permeates the mm -hmm. world and it becomes the norm to be called V's and N's and you're the only one that objects to it, Sometimes you get tired. The ways of the world start to crush in. You don't want to be different anymore. When relaxing from a day's work means not reading the word, but in the world it means having a, too much to drink and smoking something that isn't a cigarette. When Wednesday night is just hump day and not Bible study day. It's the day to get over the hump rather than a day to come and study to show thyself approved. You find yourself in that situation, you'll find yourself conforming to the ways of the world because you've allowed the pressure of this world to rein you back into your old ways. That's the persecution that the early, I see the same track record happening today. The pressures and the norms of this world beginning to press against Christians and they're getting tired. And they're starting to conform to the ways of the world. You see, apart from being grateful is to be grateful that the Lord has put you in a position that you may be able to proclaim who he is in these times that we live in and not shudder under the pressure of these times that we live in. You see, a part of our gratitude is to be thankful for our ability to know God as our life giver. Yes, and in these times like this here times that Christians feel that they're the only one on their block that's a Christian. The only one in their job that's a Christian. The only one in their family that wants to pray before they eat. Thankfulness is our ability to thank God even in difficult times. To know God as our life giver. That he provides life even in the midst of these times which we have called and have come to call darkness. This darkness spoken of today has become a way that the world talks, the way that Christians talk about a life that is struggling. They say I'm in darkness. It's a place where people of God don't want to be when they say I'm in darkness. But they started to use the word church too lightly. Right. They don't really understand what it means to be in darkness. Because when you're in darkness, yeah. that means you're cut off from the light. Yes. 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 When you say you're in darkness, you're cut off from the light and the truth cannot enter. Don't let the darkness blind you. But when one is thankful, really thankful to the life giver, they realize that the darkness cannot replace the light giver. And when they're in darkness, they're struggling back from darkness to get into the light. They're not satisfied in darkness. It's not just a passing conversation. It's not something that they give up on. But when one is thankful and really thankful to the life giver, you realize 
how dark it can be without him. Yes. When we have no life without him, or we're just alive for the most part, but we're living dead, living, walking dead, rather than living for greatness. I'm going to say that again, Jesus. John wanted the people to see that when they fell away from God, when they let the conformities of the world move in, yeah. that they were moving closer to darkness and away from light. Right. When you allow the conformities of the world to take over, when you agree with everything that the world is doing uh -huh. and find what they say that is normal, that is not normal, that is not inside the word That's of God, when cursing becomes your first language rather than a, a, your second That's language, when? Well, well. Somebody needs to bless him. The apostle John realized that it was through the witnessing of his greatness, of God's greatness, that we live today. And John realized that it was through the touch of Jesus on our reprobate mind that we are set free. So John came as a witness to Jesus, testifying and encouraging and saying, don't fall prey. Come fellowship with us. Come be thankful with us. Come lift up hands with us. Come rejoice with us. The believers of God who believe in Jesus, John came preaching Jesus. Yes. Right, yes. Because the church had gotten caught up with yes. the customs of the world. The church had lost its effectiveness. They had lost the power to change life and change communities. They were still in darkness. Homes were still broken. The believers of God had allowed the world to infiltrate their reprobate minds. Something like today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For we have allowed the world to conform us to its ways. We've allowed the customs of this world to come between the light and replace it with darkness. For we have come into his presence not Hear me now? Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to go there. Right. I'm getting yeah. ready to go All some right. All right. We've allowed the world to have us bring our gadgets into the church right. and replace God's word with our gadgets. The customs of this world came between us. We come into the presence of God with cell phones rather than Bibles. We search the web rather than you yeah. give God our time. Yeah. We are texting friends while we in the presence rather than yeah. thinking of yeah. picking up holy hands yeah. 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 and thanking God for being God all by himself. Yeah. We've allowed the darkness to come into the light. Yeah. So the church now has lost its effectiveness. Yeah. The church is no different than a bus yeah. 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 The church is no different yeah. than a taxi ride where people just come onto the bus, sit down and start texting yeah. and looking at their cell phone and more concerned about what's going on in the world.
Gadgets change every year, but God yes. 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 has been revealed to you through His grace and through His mercy, yes. and that shall never change. Yes. So the Word of God proclaims, yes. so we are lying if we say we are fellowshipping with God, but go on living in spiritual darkness. We are not practicing the truth. Oh, when God gave me this message, I said, but Lord God said, but my people are perishing. Yes, my yes. people are being caught up. Satan has put a big wrench into yes. worship. Uh -huh. Satan is trying to devalue yes. my work. Satan yes. is trying to take away the power yes. of the church yes. with the gadgets of the world. Yes. Yes. We're in the house of God and gadgets are more important than our fellowship. If you're walking in and out the church because you're bored with the worship, if you find praising difficult, if you're too tired to lift up your hands and pray, cannot come to the altar for prayer because you've got it like that, are you really sure you escaped from darkness? Are you really sure you have escaped? If praising God becomes difficult, if sitting in this house is boring, if giving God all that we have is more than we want. How can you then say thank you? Mm, yeah. Yeah. How can you say thank you when the very provision that God has given you, you deny? Mm. You see, John says, in essence, once Jesus is revealed to you and you truly see for yourself, you become a witness just how holy God is. Yes. Yes. When you become a witness to just how merciful God is, how forgiving God is, John wanted them to remember. And then John wanted them to move into fellowship. He said, once you realize, then you can fellowship. Yes. Yes. Once you realize yes. how good he is, then you can say thank you. Yes. Once you realize what he can do for you, then you can shout. Yes. You can fellowship. Because you can't come into the human 
He'll be pleased with me because this is another one of them watered down phrases mm -hmm. where we don't understand what we're saying. Mm -hmm. well, when you come into his presence, you're not supposed to stay the same. No, 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 but no. then we go out the same. No, 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 no. So what does that say? Does it say that the presence of God is not in this place? Or does it say that you didn't take the time to get into yeah, right. his presence? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you got to press your way. you got to press your way. you got to want to be in his presence. Yeah, yeah. you got to want to be different. Yeah. you got to want to have change come. Yeah. You got to want to see the church filled with people yeah. praising God, lifting up holy hands. That's right. That's you want to feel the power of the anointing yeah. of God yeah. falling down fresh on me. Yeah. 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 You want a new thing to happen, and I know it can because He promised me that it could. Yeah. You want to see God's glory yeah. coming into the house of God. Yeah, you want to see the anointing falling fresh on you. I don't yeah. know about you, but you want. You gotta press your way in. Yeah. You gotta leave the customs and the ways yeah. of the world in their proper place. Right. Yeah. The world don't love you, the world don't want you. Not Lord. It's evident, it's evident, it's evident. Mm. Yeah. The world is starting to stop your praise. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on. Come on. The world is starting to stop your music. Yeah. 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 The world don't even want your kids to pray in church. Yeah. Yeah. The world don't want you. So why are you bringing it? In this house, there should be the presence of a holy God. The God that wants you, the God that loves you, the God that strengthens you, the God that gives you power, the God that's here for you, the God that's a healer, the God that forgives you, the God that has mercy. Says I'm the truth, the way, and the life. Yes, yes. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we've gotten caught up. John came to remind them: Don't be conformed. That means don't be changed to the ways of the world. Jesus is Lord. When you are in fellowship. When you move into agreement, Jesus is Lord. Right. Jesus right. governs. Yeah, yeah. Jesus has rule. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I ain't saying there's anything wrong with gadgets. Don't get me wrong. Right. I got a couple myself. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I got some myself. I even brought mine with me into the pool. Take my mine is off. Yeah, yeah. Mine is off. Ain't nobody going to get through to me. Hey, mine is hey. off. Mine is off. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I got tons of gadgets. But they at home, they where they're supposed to be. Yeah. When I'm up in here, yeah. I don't need a gadget. Hey, hey. It's about Jesus. Yeah. We sing that song all the time. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. It's not about you. Hey, come on. It's about Jesus. Jesus is Lord, and he is worthy to be praised. Yes. And Apostle John said, when you come into fellowship, then you can say thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. You are who I'm fellowshipping with. Thank you, Lord. You are who I'm with today. Thank you, Lord. I leave down here filled with you. Thank you, Lord. I've been in fellowship with you, God, from 10 to 12. And if that's what God has given us, then thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm in fellowship because Amen. God can do a lot with them two hours. Yes. Trust me. Amen. He can change a reprobate yes. mind yes. in two hours. Jesus. And then verse 7 says, but if we are living in the light, yes. as God is in the light, yes. then we have fellowship with each other. Yes. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sins. You see, John said in essence that once we really reveal the presence of God, when we make it a priority, 
that he is the head and not the tail. Yeah. yeah. When you transfer your time and attention to him, this yeah. is this is good here right here. This is rich. Yeah. The sins of ignoring him. Yeah. Y'all got quiet. It's okay because I'm not playing this. <laughs> the sins of ignoring him. See, when you're in his presence and you're ignoring him, it doesn't go well with God. Yes. When he's here and he wants to heal you and change you yes. and transform you, and yeah. you're ignoring him. Mm. I don't have time, man. Mm. I'm busy. Mm. But when you transfer your time and attention to him, the sins of ignoring you, the sins of behind and not in the front. The sins become behind and not in the front. For when we give him our attention, we shall be forgiven of our sins. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, Thank you, Lord. You can't be forgiven of sins if you don't know when altar call comes. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. You don't know when it's time to pray. When you don't know when it's time to give God the glory. Mm -hmm. You gotta know when it's time. Yes. Ecclesiastic says there's a time for everything. Yes, Anybody yes, know that? Yes, it's, yes, right. so it is. it's a time when we eat, amen? Yes. It's a time to go to sleep, amen? Yes. It's a time to live and a time to die. Yes. And there's a time to praise God. God. Yes. 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 Time to praise God. For Jesus died and shed his blood that we not embrace the things of the world, but embrace him. Yes. And when we live in the light, our eyes are open and we see our, and our ears are open and we hear and our hearts are set free. When we are in the spirit man and when we're in our spirit woman, it sets us free on Wednesday. And Wednesday night is no longer hump day. Mm. It's a day to come and fellowship yes. and be grateful right. that you can study yes. and show thyself approved. Yes. 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 We are living in the time of gadgets, trinkets. We're living in a time that my mother, I couldn't even explain it to her how it worked. We're living in a time of great science, yeah. and that is a great thing. Yeah. Doctors are able to pull your medical record up yeah. using a pad. Yeah. Great things this world has done. Yeah. Great things this world has done where we can carry our Bibles in a cell phone, read a book in a cell phone. Great things we have done. But I'm here to remind you the greater things he has yeah. done. Yeah. 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 Greater things he yeah. has done. Yeah. Because he created the minds of men that were able to do and create. Yeah. 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 If it had not been for the Lord and his power, we wouldn't have half the gadgets that we have now.